Come on, come on, come on. Technical difficulties, gotta love them. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Lights, yay! Camera, action! Pull the curtain! Welcome to Sit Down by the Fire with your hosts, Kyle Von Lewis Nyberg and Eric Beerthal. In today's episode, they will be discussing dumb detention slips given by teachers to students. Now, get ready to be entertained! And introducing the next peanut like a car, here on Sit Down by the Fire. Hello, everybody. This is Eric Virathaler92 here with Junibug Films, here with our very, very, very special guest, Minotaur, on the next episode of Sit Down by the Fire. Yeah, uh, folks, we were experiencing some tech issues in the back, so uh, that's why our cameras are off. We'll try to focus on the next week. Um, I can barely hear them. On my end, but we'll focus on it next week, so we apologize for that. But today's episode, we'll be reacting to dumb detention slips. So, uh, Eric, uh, why don't you grab your device, or whatever you want to use, and uh, prepare for cringe. And Google dumb detention slips, and we'll react to them, and you can read them aloud to it, me and Minotaur. Oh my so, gosh. Prepare to cringe. And uh, Minotaur, if you really want to, you can. Uh, you can do the whole, on your guitar, you can do the drum, you know, the drum thing. Oh. You know, Please, it's really dumb. Is that it? So. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so I found a website called the top tens.com. All right, I, I'm going to count down to number one just to make it more interesting. So, okay. it's called top ten, but I'm only seeing the top eight. Oh, wait. Well, maybe that's oh. part of the they can't count. 
Oh, wait. Uh, top 24. Okay. So I guess that, that'll give us some time. So, number yeah. 24. Accidentally going into the opposite gender restroom. But that wouldn't be a problem nowadays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, wow. I mean, Eric, well, you said that you had to go really bad because you had to go really bad at one point because you had to go really bad. So. Yeah, like, the only time I, I ever had to use the women's restroom, I was, I was in the drive-thru at Dairy Queen and I had to go really bad. I had to go so bad I started to lift myself up from my chair. Even worse, there were cars in front of me and behind me so I was trapped in the drive through having to take the biggest shit of my life. <laughs> so then, as soon as I got my food, I ran into their restroom, but the men's room was locked. There was somebody in there. And I was like, oh my god, I couldn't hold it in. So I had to go so bad, I went into the women's restroom. I mean, that's a completely justifiable reason for me having to go to the women's room, because I had to go that bad. So there was one time I was at a school field trip, and uh, I, uh, I, I, you know, I had to go to the bathroom a little bit. I wasn't really paying attention, <laughs> and I actually went to the girls' room. And all of a sudden, after that, I walked out of there, I didn't have to go anymore. I didn't see my pants. It was just like the shock of it. Like, oh, I don't have to go anymore. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, so do you want to read, the, uh, read some more? Because that would pose a problem nowadays, definitely. So, Minotaur, ha do you have a story similar to that? Um, like, um, not really. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So, let's All right. Number 23. Killing a fellow pupil. Wait. Yeah. And then it says on the bottom, wait, that's illegal. Like, that wouldn't... You would get much more than just detention for that. You would wait, get wait. expelled and arrested. Wait. Wait. Killing a pupil? Yeah. Killing a pupil. Pupil. Okay, wow. I certainly hope that kid went to, went to jail. <laughs> yeah, that's not a... Like, if you yeah, just okay. got detention okay. for that, that's a slap on the wrist. I'm going to call BS on that one. Yeah, I, I'm going to call BS on that one. Alright, number 22. Looking for looking at your friend. What? <laughs> That's absurd. Like, why would you get detention for that? I, I mean, man, man, at that point, then I should have gotten a detention definitely in school. <laughs> because I looked at a lot of my friends. And some of them were deaf, and, and, and I definitely looked at a lot of girls who I thought would be potential girlfriends as well. So, yeah, come on. Uh, number 21's pretty justifiable. For not doing homework. That's not, I mean, I think I could give a kid, like, okay, if it was repeated offenses, you know, like, oh, you don't do homework. Like, maybe do the three strike you're out rule, you know, like, you didn't do your homework three times, then yeah, detention. But, like, the first time, it's like, okay, you know, yeah. Yeah, that's completely justifiable. I don't know why that's even on the list, because that's a pretty good reason for getting attention. <laughs> Number 20. This would be perfect for Minotaur, for playing heavy metal. <laughs> I mean, Minotaur, I guess, play us like a heavy metal tune uh... for that one. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know what? Out of all things you did a detention for, that's pretty metal right there. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. 
right, so, uh, Eric? And then number 19, drawing in class. Now, if you're supposed to be doing schoolwork, but instead you're drawing, I can uh, understand that. But if it's for art class, then shouldn't that be the whole point to art class? Yeah, but man, imagine if it doesn't specify probably, but imagine if that really was art class. I got good for drawing in art class. You're supposed to draw in art class. <laughs> I mean, what would be the point, you know, than that? So I don't know. But, and a lot of this list is looks like. A lot of I'm getting. I'm getting the vibe that this list is just. I'm getting the vibe that this list is just entirely made up. If if I were to be honest. <coughs> yeah. Well, we'll see. If, well, if it's, if it, we don't have any, if there's more BS ones, uh, let's find a different list. Honestly. All right, yeah. number eighteen. Telling a horrible bully to shut up. You know, that's a. That is a dumb reason because, you know, you are standing up for yourself and you're getting in trouble just for standing up for yourself. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah exactly. you shouldn't get detention for standing up for yourself. Exactly. Because, well, schools need to do a lot more with bullies than they have to do right now, but that's not really the point. But, I mean, I would probably, like, at least maybe give the kid, like, because schools are very picky about saying the word shut up. I would have probably at least, like, given, like, maybe an hour of ISS or something. But that's mainly just for to appease the school board. You know, yeah, he got in trouble because he said a word that we don't like in the school. But the bully definitely would be getting suspended. Yep. Number 17, playing with your pen. I mean, see, that's the thing is, I don't think I could get in, like, if it was overly distracting, but I think it's too much, like, with that if, you're, if you're biting it like Ernest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could be distracting. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, like, I don't know, like, I mean, if the kid has, like, autism or something, and he can't help it, like, he always has to fidget with something, I think I would give the kid a pass. Like, you know, like, see, some of these, some of, I love watching these type of videos, because there are some of them, like, I could not ground my kid if he got a detention for said thing. You know. Number 16, wearing a hoodie. What? Is that, okay, wait, wait, wait. Is this, my question what my question is, is this a girl and is that all she was wearing? Because if that's all she was wearing, then yeah. Then maybe I can she, see that. Maybe she does deserve a detention. And I mean all she's wearing. <laughs> yep. We're a PG thirteen show, so I'm not gonna do all get tell you ended up, but I'm sure you know what I mean. <laughs> but if but say if it's a little colder outside if they're wearing a hoodie, that's a stupid reason. <laughs> To get detention, like so, what you want your students to freeze? Is that a, was it a was it an inappropriate hoodie or something? You know, if 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 it were an inappropriate one, then I can understand the issue. But yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't know. That one reminds me of one time my junior year. I wore a shirt on the back. It said the Great Cornholio, and I got yelled at for wearing that shirt. <laughs> that, at that rate, Eric, you should have done, you should have done the whole thing. You know, put this. Oh my God, number fifteen. Oh my God, this one legitimately pisses me off. Preventing a suicide attempt. What? I'm gonna call oh my God! Like, if, if that is true, um, that teacher who gave that detention did to get be fired. fired. Yep, and, I agree. And um, permanent teaching license ban in all 50 states. And even, you know, because you can't control people doing other countries, but all 50 states teach a license ban. Yeah, because that's a horrible reason to give somebody detention. Yeah, even, even the guitar agrees. Yeah, that's saying a lot because even the inanimate object agrees with us. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm calling bullshit on this list. 
The number 14, eating an apple. I guess eating an apple can be loud. I mean... But that's still it, pretty stupid and petty. Man, you know what? If, if that was the case, I would have gotten in so much trouble at school. At, you know, I graduated high school and everything, like all of us. So, uh, you know, I mean, I don't know. Like, I would have gotten in big trouble if, if that's the case. Because I, I ate all the time in school. Like, I had chips, uh, sometimes drinks, you know. And, you know, I mean, pop. You know, I wasn't taking yeah. those things. Oh yeah, I guess it depends on if it's in class or not. Because sometimes they don't let you eat food during class. Yeah, but you kind of have to. That's when you have to be sneaky about it. Like an apple, yeah. you can't be sneaky about it. You know. Yeah. So, what's the number thirteen? Taking your things back from someone. Wow, like what? that's a stupid reason. Like, of course you're gonna want your things back. Like, okay, did it cause a... It's not specifying, did it cause a fight? You know, because it caused mm. a fight, yeah, I could understand that, but, like, but taking your things back, like, how is that a bad thing? Yeah, oh my god, uh, <laughs> number 12, ironic because I grew on my ponytail, refusing to have a haircut. <laughs> what? I mean, that, well, wasn't it, um... Alice Cooper, who had a, who went to a school where you couldn't have long hair or anything, so. Which is ironic get, because Alice Cooper, that's one of the things he's famous for now. Yeah, doesn't that have, doesn't, was that in the 60s? Maybe, maybe not, it, it doesn't <laughs> say. Yeah, uh, Okay, number 11, this is understandable, swearing. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm i not going to lie, like, I did it in school, too, but I never got a detention for it. But I think every one of us got a story to keep that fun so. Number 10, hand gestures. Be more specific. <laughs> um, then, like, was he, yeah. teacher, like, was he flipping the teacher off? Was it he... doesn't say, but I'm going to guess the middle finger, because that would make sense to me. But yeah, this like, oh my god, number nine, oof, number nine, top reason for people getting detention, oh my god, I can't believe I am uttering the words, for being black. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <coughs> Was what that back that? in like the 50s or 60s or something? What does that even <laughs> That's so racist! <laughs> oh, you're a black kid. You're getting detention, kid. <laughs> oh my god. Is it like is it people pretend to be black? Because there are some people who do that. But it doesn't say, but oh my okay. god. Yeah. First of all, this is the list, people. If you're gonna come at us, come after this list if you can leave comments. Because yeah, is, it's on the top tens dot com, which is odd because it ended up being a top twenty four list. But oh yeah, my okay. god, <laughs> number eight for farting. <laughs> I mean, I did that in school. Um, okay, I got a whoopee cushion this year, and I, I made the I had one of the captain the captain of the football team. I made him. Sit he sat on the whoopee cushion in school and the teacher said, okay, sit down, boys and girls. And, the and then as soon as he sits down, the captain took off. It was one of the, but it was, why I picked him because he was the biggest guy, so he could just like extend the whoopee cushion out and everything. And he sat there, just sat down, looked direct the teacher directly into the eye. Oh my God. <laughs> and, and then it like stops a little bit. And then it continued. So, I mean, I farted in class. I'm sure every one of us did. That, that was good. That's good. Oh my god, this is stupid. For buying lunch. What? Did you, are you telling me that he got in trouble for buying another student lunch or something? 
I don't know, but if it's for buying himself lunch, then I'm like, so you want your students to starve? Yeah, I don't know. I think that one, like, that one's just, that, man, a lot of this I'm, I'm like, I don't know if I really believe in the Oh my god, number six for being pregnant. <laughs> I, well, she, well, she could have prevented that, but yeah, that's not really a piece of attention. Oh my god, number five for being yourself. Real, okay, come on, really? Oh, I'm calling bullshit around this year. Bullshit. Number four, I guess it could be understandable for laughing. What were they laughing at? Oh my god, number three. Politically incorrect nowadays. The number three reason is for being gay. Hey. Oh my god, that's not very politically correct nowadays. No. Oh my god, number two for throwing an imaginary object. What? Why would you throw an imaginary object? Are you an idiot? <laughs> it's, either the, it's either the kid is um, the kid is five or the teacher's an idiot. Which I'm, I'm going to go with the latter. The oh my idiot. god, number one hugging a friend. Okay, this list is bullshit. Yeah, that's kind of different list, because that, that list is bull. Wow. For being yourself? Really? Yeah, um, maybe find Google Images or something, you know? Okay. Yeah. JustSomething.com. Hilarious reasons people got detention. All right. <clears throat> Alrighty. Alrighty. Let's scroll back on the list and work our way up. All right, five pages. Oh boy, this will give us some good material. Yeah. Alright. Alrighty. Non-believers hit, hit, hit back. Detention for drawing Justin Bieber in lessons, singing that should be, be me, and hitting a non... So, believer. Okay, so basically they got in trouble for hitting Justin Bieber fan? Yeah, but that is petty. I mean, listen, you should never hit people, but it's Justin Bieber, so he can Yep. Right. Number 36. Use the F word in the hall multiple times when I sh when I said to him I should not hear that word. He told me to plug my ears and just walked away. <laughs> <laughs> That's almost like something I would have done at school. But I would have gotten 20 points because I don't know, like when you when you in some when you looking back, like maybe I should have Maybe after you take a one school, but like, at least when you're special, you can get away with that. So I, I don't think that's the thing that I would have put in school. <laughs> yeah, but then lunch detention for a girl named Brianna. You are assigned to serve detention during lunch on November 7th, 2007, on a Wednesday. Reasons. And then all the reasons listed. So, here. I guess I'll turn my camera on just because it makes more sense this way. Okay, can you... Yeah, so if you get it, Not it's following good. directions, defiance, no homework, off-task, reading a book, excessive talking, disruption, off-seat, chewing gum, or, and then they checked off off-task, reading a book. So they got detention... For reading a book. Wow. That's stupid. 
Isn't isn't it a but it's really weird stuff is like a game. Maybe I can understand it if they were off task, definitely, but why would you get in trouble for reading? So Number thirty four, blatant discard disregard of authority back in nineteen ninety four. Oh boy. You may already know this, but in case Alex has neglected to tell you, I am assigning him to detention for one hour this Friday, April 22nd. The reason is as follows. Alex constantly defied me during class. He contradicted me numerous times when I insist that the length of one kilometer was greater than that of one mile. Every other student in class accepted my lesson without argument, but your son refused to believe what I told him, offering with such rebuttals as you're lying to the class and commanding other students to challenge my curriculum. Although he was correct, Alex's actions show a blatant disregard for authority and a complete lack of respect for his school. In the future, Alex would be better off simply accepting my teachings without resistance. Okay, so let me get this straight. So he was correcting the teacher and it turns out the student was right, but she still gave him the detention. That's stupid. I, I'm going to be honest. If I was the parent in that situation, I would be like, like, yeah, yeah no, my son's, like, if, if it was like, a, if he had detention the following day, or something like, I'm like, no, my son's not going to get a detention because your teacher is wrong, and that's not right. So I, I would just say, no, you're not going to get, get a detention. Uh, so this one's it. from 2013. Standing on top of his desk, opening his shirt to reveal an S painted on his chest, and declaring he's Superman. <laughs> 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 Minotaur, what are your thoughts on that one? Um, That's funny. <laughs> that, one, that one's pretty funny. That one's a good, that one's a good one. Like, okay. If I was the teacher, yes, he did this stuff class, but I would sit there and, like, give him a cookie or something. Now, listen, I, I thought I'd sit there, okay, for amusement. But I would tell him, listen, don't do that again. But that, that was funny. You know, but stress to him, don't do that again. All right, this one is for saying, this project is going to suck dick. <laughs> <laughs> I would have said at school. Well, I gotta hand it to that kid. Uh, volunteered to be a target for a paper spear, was hit in the face <laughs> with it. Okay. Okay. This one from 2009. Another student made the comment. You need to push it in further. And Dalton added, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Some of these are just like, man, man, if, if we, like, this is something I would have said at school. It's like, man, you know, I would have gotten, if I was at school nowadays, it seems like I would have gotten in a lot, a lot of trouble sometimes. So. Oh my God. For dropping his pants in front of others, while screaming YOLO. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Minotaur, what are your thoughts on that one? What was it again? For dropping his pants and screaming YOLO. Uh, I don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Do you got a song to go along with uh, that one? There you go. <laughs> All right. This one for yelling. This is a mahogany when when a student dropped a. A book on the desk. Okay. The next one, passing a note in class. Okay. Uh, and passing a note that said your hair has a boner. 
<laughs> oh my god. Number 20. So, oh, sorry. Some of these, I don't even know if I can do if I could have been for it. It's just, oh, your hair has a phone in Like, I would probably be laughing at my kid. You know, like, I think, I would, I don't say that, but yeah, that is pretty funny. Then, number 25, for drawing a large penis on the whiteboard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, everybody. Everybody has done that at some point in school, or has seen that in school. Like, Eric, I'm pretty sure oh Eric. my god. Medical and Eric, I'm pretty sure even you guys were in school, somebody would see this on the whiteboard or the top so. Is it what, what again? Somebody got in trouble because he drew a penis on the top board. Uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it's hard to remember, but I know somebody got in trouble from drawing something on the board. I think I might have gotten told from trust on the board. I can't remember what it was, though. Okay, I'm pretty sure when you were in school, somebody drew a penis on the top board or the right board, right? Yeah, I mean, a lot of... Oh, my God. So, yeah, Minotaur, you got a song for that one? Uh, let's see. Uh, that's all I got. All right, then it was reported that Mason looked up the dress of another student. <laughs> yes, that is wrong. And, and then student's explanation of incident. I looked up her dress and my eyes were closed. Bullshit. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. That one, that was like, yeah, the kid did something wrong, but like, I think... I would, I would be, it would have to be hard for me to keep a straight face in that snow like this because, like, I had, I didn't see anything. I had my eyes closed. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> oh my God! This one is saying for humping Troy's head. What? Who's Troy? <laughs> I don't know, but oh my God! Uh, a lot of these ones are so perverted. Wait a minute. So, first of all, Troy, um, you need to punch that guy because he's humping your head. <laughs> Don't let somebody bad touch your head. <laughs> so, after being spoke to today about disrespect, she continued to call another teacher a Furby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I got in trouble for calling it. I got in trouble because the teacher's name is Novak. Uh, I'm not going to say it like this in it, but yeah, I got in trouble because I called a doctor in May. I didn't get a detention. She just, kept, she just told me to go to the office. Then... Joe started with excessive chair squeaking and ended up farting in a student's face. You, so, so, first of all, what's with, these, what's with these kids now letting people hump their head and farting in their face? I mean, did this kid have too, too much bench warming? <laughs> <laughs> Danny was standing up in class saying, Show me your booty hole. <laughs> is, this, is this Beavis? And then when a student asked another what he was doing after school, he said, as responded with, your mom. Um, you know, that, man, those, those, 
I'm sure we all remember when those jokes were really good. Your mom's joke. Yeah, there was this kid in my weight lifting class in my senior year who would say, Oh, your mom, those jokes every day, they got old so freaking fast. But anyways, student threw sandwich across class screaming YOLO. Probably back in 2012 or 2013. What's that, that? Oh, that's what that thing was, YOLO. Like, was that that thing on the internet for like two months or something? It meant you only live once. Oh, okay. I, no, I thought that, that was that dumb thing on the internet. Like, the, I can't remember, like, the, you say a certain word. And then, like, what, what word do you hear? I don't even remember. Alright. Took a laptop and again, cooking a picture of pugs. So he got in trouble for... So let me get this straight. He got in trouble for uh, taking a laptop, which I did that in school as well. I took laptops for that permission. I think all of us did. And then he got in trouble for looking at pictures of pugs. Wow. Oh my god, pouring vomit in urine in, the, in, the, in another student's hair. Ew, ew, ew. Wait, what the? That would get I you mean, in spell. That should. I mean, what? Ew. <laughs> yeah, where did he. Where did he get that? Where did he get the vomit in urine? Maybe he puked it up himself and he probably peed in it. I mean, I would, yeah, no, I would say it's spelled. And I mean, honestly, I would probably say um, it's spelled where, yeah, you can't come permanent, permanently expelled. Like, maybe even um, something like next year will be considered under review. Just, you know, because that's, that is, that could technically classify as a fault. You know. Yeah. Yeah, like that's not even funny. Like a lot of these ones are funny. That one's like, no, that's not funny. That's just being a douchebag. Yeah, like um, but listen, I'm I'm gonna say this: if my I don't care how old my kid is, if he does something like that, you know, future pet kid, I don't care if you're 18. Um, if you're gonna sit there and do that to to a person. As long as you're living under my roof, uh, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna get a spanking. Yeah. And that would probably I, honestly, I'm gonna say this now. I don't even agree with this. But, minute, but the way your actions, the way you did that, um, I would probably say that that class has a belt thing. Yeah. I Next think, one, think, taking off shirt in middle class and yelling, "Come at me, bro!" at another student. Um. That one, I'm going to say that one requires more content because there's the other kid being a bully and the kid is trying to defend himself. But that's one thing I, I do not agree with school boards about, you know, like, oh, if a student defends himself, he punches another kid student because of whatever reason. You know, because the, te the, te the one was bullying him or something. Uh, right. You know, like, one who lays a hand on the... On the on the other student, get this one that gets suspended. I do not agree with that method at all. So, like, my thing is, I'm gonna need more content. Was the other kid bullying him? And the teacher was, you know, the guy the kid was sitting there saying, okay, come on, let's fight, you know? Because, you know, you don't want to do it, but sometimes if somebody's doing a good to you in an in, in a, in a adult situation, you should be prepared to at least say, hey, come on, dude, or and then if it gets physical, you should be you should be able to sit and punch the guy. In an adult yep. situation, it, in schools they don't allow that, you know. And I'm like, I, I disagree with that method at all. Like, if if the if the student is defending himself, you should not get a detention. You know, maybe for just legal purposes, maybe just like a one day suspension from school. But just explain this is a school board thing, you know. But yeah. Next one, I'm, calling a teacher a muggle. 
They got a Harry Potter. <laughs> oh my god, next one. One of them was no homework. Okay, understandable. The next one, trying to set fire to the lab. <laughs> was this on purpose? <laughs> the next <laughs> one, shaving his beard in class. <laughs> shaving? So, hold on. Like, did, I wonder, like, I did, did, did he, like, put the cream on and everything? Or, or was it, uh, and she started shaving with the mirror? Or did he actually have the electric engine? And, you know, a lot of people said he's... It doesn't say, it just says shaving beard in class, so. Wow. The next one, drinking paint in class. Why would you be drinking paint, you idiot? Uh, I mean, they don't need to, they don't need to go to the, they don't need to get attention, they need to go to the hospital. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, unless you're my grandpa, who, who, um, has an iron stomach. He, he a, a accidentally drank paint thinner one time. Um, but, so, but drinky paint? Like, push him to the hospital, not the... Not the... Give him a detention. Next one. Student asked to watch the uh, Epic Games. I said no, then he said, You're a communist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I I think I would. I don't know. Like, what, 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 did it say what year that was? Twenty fourteen. Uh, well, maybe that makes sense. The Olympics were in China. Maybe she is a maybe she is a commie. The next one: student <laughs> open window and and escaped. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he, so he just took the opportunity, right? Yep. Yeah. Disturbing other classmates with pictures of cats. So he was going to pictures of cats. So he was going to pictures of pictures of cats. So that's, isn't that lovely? I mean, you know, I mean, Hey, it could it could be worse than throwing that type of pussy. <laughs> yeah. When asked the class who could solve my math problem, Katie stood up and shouted, I volunteer as tribute at the top of her lungs to disrupt the rest of class. I guess this is when the hunger games are popular. Number one reason, student took off shirt and then proceeded to pretend his pencil was a wine while screaming, I am a fucking wizard. <laughs> well? <laughs> that kind of very magical there. <laughs> All right. That was it for that list. Well, so what do you guys have thought on some of these? Like, like if you guys have, you know, when you guys are blessed with spirit, are you guys gonna? Did you get to get to get attention for some of these? Or, or you know, like that? Would they be down at the list, or they, uh, some of them would they be like, yeah, you did something wrong, or some of them would be like, no, you know. How would you guys react to some of these if you did that? If you could children that that is attention to these two things. I have no comment. <coughs> yeah, some of them, I'm, I'm not sure. Like, I don't even think I would, I don't even know what I would do, you know, honestly. They, they just, like I said, they're dumb for a reason. So, you, let's try to find a, let's, let's find another, let's find another list, you know, to, to, to fill in this. A lot of the other lists just name off the exact same. The exact same stuff, so... Well, um, I guess... I guess, name dumb reasons we got detention for back when we were teenagers or kids. I wonder about detention in elementary school. Because, um, all the bad kids in elementary school I think, yeah, but it was in, I, um, So we were playing bingo in class. And I got in trouble because I did 
you know, uh, I say, oh man, you know, and I did the whole thing with my fist, you know, like, oh man, you know, the gesture. I would say that I was praising earlier, but, but I think you know what gesture I mean, you know. Yeah. Like, you know, like I did, oh man, and the teachers thought I was threatening her. That's dumb. And then, and then I got a detention in fourth grade. Um, I mean, I was kind of being a little arrogant. I, I, I mean, not arrogant, just kind of an annoying kid. And the teacher sit there and said, told me that, I if I can hear a piece out of you, then I'm going to give you detention. And I was mainly touching boundaries. I, I, I said, Peace. So that one, yeah, I deserved it. But yeah, what was some of the dumb reasons you got a detention there? I did in seventh grade because I looked up pictures of Pamela Anderson, and I got in school suspension because of it. What? Um, okay. You didn't look at those pictures of Pamela, did you? Uh, from what I remember, they were pictures of her way, like with clothes on. But this was when I was like thirteen years old, and. I'm now 30, so my memory may not be the best about it. But yeah, it was a long time ago. Me? Yeah, you. Yeah, um, well, I did get in trouble because someone accused me of doing something I didn't do. Like, he accused me of sticking my foot in the, uh, the what is it, the drinking fountain? And I never did it, so he was a liar. And, um, uh, I got blamed for it. Just stupid. You got in trouble for being a cute and you didn't do it. Could he do yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> the water fountain, yeah. He, 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 um, that's dumb. I, I actually got a just, uh, there was one earlier, uh, I, there was a kid, there was a kid in my school who got in Uh, now this one, Earlier, there was one of them where you said this kid got a detention for being gay. But no, that, that's what I, I have to know that guy that happened to. He got a detention in school because that's what he got on the thing. It, it said being gay. He got detention for. Wait, so he got detention for being gay? That's what he, no, that's what the teacher wrote. That's all he wrote on, on the little script why he got a detention. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that, keep in mind, folks, if you grew up in school where, like, you know, like, this stuff, like, it's not as accepted as it was, but, like, even if yeah. this teacher, but what makes it funny now is this teacher now has come out as gay. Ah, oh, uh, so that just makes it funny not the message, but wait, uh, I, I thought of one other reason why that I got in trouble at school. So my freshman year, yeah, my freshman year, my football coach was so convinced, thinking that I was skipping practice, so he got all these other coaches involved, these other teachers involved, all of my teammates were pissed at me he got my parents involved like it got blown way out of proportion like accusing me of skipping practice and all that when I kept telling him no I did not skip practice I didn't get detention for it but I remember I was in hot water and everybody was so convinced thinking that I skipped I don't know why they were so convinced thinking that I was skipping practice, but it's whatever. Uh, so then I remember I was at the drive through at Wendy's with my mom. She was accusing me of skipping practice and I was telling her over and over again, no, I'm not skipping. And then finally I said, you know what, if you don't want, if you want to believe me or not, fine. But the bottom line is, I'm not skipping practice. Then, then I remember she was on the phone with my dad. And she was like, I think Eric is telling the truth. And then she was like, you know what? If it was about a horror movie, then yes, he would lie about it. 
But since this is not about a horror movie, I think he's telling the truth. And then, I don't know what finally got my mom to realize that I wasn't skipping practice. Then finally, what finally convinced my coach that I wasn't skipping practice was uh, I asked him, okay, didn't we do so-and-so push-ups on so-and-so day? He said yes. And I was like, see, I told you I didn't skip. And then he had that look on his face as if he felt like a complete and utter idiot. So what I think happened is that my coach is obviously not a very observant person. And on top of that, maybe I was just being really quiet that day because I was I could have been dealing with personal shit and I just you know, I just I just wasn't feeling talkative that day. So I think it's a combo of them both. I think he was he's just not a very observant person. But I still had to put up with all of my other teammates. The next football season, they were still accusing me of skipping. And then I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I am not... I am not playing anymore. And uh, so... So when he mentioned about being falsely accused of something that you didn't do in high school... I get it. 100%. I truly do. I'm not... You know, I'm not really falsely accused of anything. Maybe just because... I'm not... Not that I'm bragging or anything, but like in high school, like I was literally like the fellow theater in school. Like I was friends with pretty much everybody, the job, the learning, you know, so pretty much everybody. Like, I mean, the only people who didn't really, I don't know, anybody who really didn't like me. But you know, the, the school I grew up in, it was a, it's a, it was a very comfy feel, you know, like everybody kind of got along with each other, like there was not a lot of bullying or anything, so I, I guess I was just lucky, but you know, like, no, I never got a piece of any, anything that I could think of, but yeah, no, um, so, I mean, the, like, you know, I, I guess I have a funny story uh, that kind of is, Funny, just more funny. We didn't get in trouble for this, but this is the te- this is how what, the teacher honestly deserved to get in trouble. So the teacher gave us um, he he gave us twenty dollars, and to order stuff off the dollar menu because the teacher was hungry. This was the guy who I went with, which is his the teacher's the teacher aide. And he said, "Okay, so go sneak up the back so you guys don't have to sound out of school, and go walk the sound." Go walk to McDonald's and uh, here, here, order stuff off the dollar menu. So me and this guy had, had a few extra dollars. Like I think I had a twenty on him. He had a twenty on him. Plus the teacher gave us twenty dollars. So we ordered off the dollar menu sixty dollars worth of stuff off the dollar menu at McDonald's. And he said, "Give me back the change." And so we only like literally the change back. Was like only five cents because we, we spent sixty dollars to stuff off the dollar menu because we snuck we literally stuck out of school with permission by how it happened the teacher we just didn't sign out but we had permission and uh, yeah so um needless to say i had two lunches that day mcdonald's and school lunch and, uh, i can tell you some of the stuff that i when, when, I, when I was watching some of these that I've seen that gotten gotten dumb detention for, so somebody got in trouble because he called the teacher um, the the insult from Elf. He called the teacher a cat in a hood and he nothing. <laughs> like out of the movie Elf. Yeah, like I'm like come on, like. <laughs> but he did what again? He he called the teacher a cat in a hood and he nothing. Oh yeah. From Elf. That's hilarious. So, um, there was one of them that um, I was watching too. Uh, this guy, he got a detention for uh, stealing a squeaky chair and went to the cafeteria and just started squeaking the chair. And then he was asked to take, take the chair back. And then he pushes it back. And then has a sign as he goes into the office that says, I defy the cafeteria. 
I mean, and I'll, I, this is something I just love watching on YouTube too, the whole, you know, just dumb attendance. Because it feels like, man, some, man, some of these teachers are just, just dumb or like they just can't like be assertive with some of these kids, you know. Um, like, um, the one that, like one of them that um, I, 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 I remember it was this kid got in trouble because he he said to the teacher, you know, the, 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 somebody your mom goes to, that they got in trouble for all that other stuff. It's just kind of funny to me just to hear some of them just, you know, and these, just how dumb some of these teachers can be. You know, um, I uh, not a line of blank, I can't think of them, but like, um, there is, but the, the one that I want to know, though, too, okay, about like, what, what was, what, who was the other kid, and why was he hunting for his head? That one is just like baffling to me. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, now, the big what, question what, is, who is Troy? Exactly, I mean, <laughs> hey, I mean, was, was he hump? And it didn't specify. Was he humping Troy? Uh, and, and it was Brad Pitt's head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that one. That one. Um. But. But um, I remember the, there was one of them where the teacher gave her detention because uh, for uh. For uh, tickling, tickling the Wow, just yeah. So Eric, I know last time we asked we asked to uh, dumb stuff. Your brain hurt. How does your brain feel now? Well, it feels fried, but not as fried as. That one where I I had to call it quits. I forget which one it was. Yeah, we reacted to dumb laws. Um, and even when Kenny Hornrickson said that the Big Dipper is one star. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's just so many. There's just so many things that like. I'm sure a lot of kids have gotten detention for like uh, why don't you why don't you all, all all of you uh leave down in the comments, you know, uh what what did you get a job what what's the dumbest thing that you got a detention for in school? You know, um you know, if if if, if he watches my stuff, um uh, I am pretty sure he does. I, you know, uh up on it, I I'm sure you would love to hear Fabio's dumbest reason he ever got a detention for in school, right? Because it seems like he always got in trouble. If what? Uh, what? I want to hear what Fabio's thing is. What was the what was the dumbest reason why he got a detention in school? Yeah. Because he got a detention a lot in school. So. <laughs> so, um, but, you know, I don't know. I mean, I got. I mean, I got in trouble. Oh. I, I thought of one. Um, I was being a little obnoxious. Okay, I really did that in school, but I got ISS because I, and it was like within the like the ten minute bell rang, you know, and as soon as the ten minute bell rang, I got in trouble because I I was being obnoxious that whole half hour. I really did that, but I got in trouble because I sneezed. And the teacher said, if, if there's one more piece that comes out of me, then I'm going to get into a suspension. And I sneeze. That's <laughs> dumb. Yeah. Uh, and so I went to ISS. And then, like, because like, I literally only went to ISS and, like, two minutes of class happened, I just snuck out the back door. You know? Wow. I, um, I do remember one time in my school, they had to... Uh, they had to uh, change the, all the locker combinations. 
because uh, somebody decided to steal the entire steal from the school. They snuck into school and they stole the locker combination. I, I remember uh -huh. that one. Uh, I don't know, Eric, when you were in I guess both of you, when you were in school, like that's something that you remember that some kid did that was just dumb and you couldn't believe you got to you for that. And I know school is a long time for us, so So, yeah, I don't know. Um, I kind of feel like we, we we ran out of things to say about that, so maybe we should call yeah. the episode quits. Yeah. Um, hey, well, I guess uh, that anything, anything you want to promote, Eric, on your channel? Uh, more episodes of Let's Watch a Movie. My most recent episode crossed 2,000 views. So I'm very proud of that. I'm definitely going to... I'm really glad I started the series Let's Watch a Movie because, man, this year alone, it's been a huge hit for my channel. So, I mean, it's brought in more viewership than anything else that I've ever done. So, yeah, definitely going to continue this series. Uh, look forward to more episodes of Things That Piss Me Off. Look forward to the third Things That Piss Me Off movie. Um, nice. Yeah, um, I guess I will say this. Uh, we have, uh, so we're taking a break for Thanksgiving to sit down by the fire. So no episode next next week because you know it's, it's Thanksgiving and uh, you guys, yeah. I don't have you need to worry about doing an episode after sitting by the fire. And but then the week after that, we're going to be interviewing uh, you see the store folks. And then we're going to be uh, for the season finale. Um, the, the day before Eric's birthday, we're, we will be interviewing screenwriter Victor Miller. So, uh, and then after that, yep, that um, Victor Miller. Yep. Uh -huh. So yeah, and then um, but yeah, Minotaur is going to be a new addition to Sit Down by the Fire again, sort of like a our little, uh, you know. Music, music personnel, you know, <laughs> where like if I say a joke, you can sit there and do like, like the guitar thing, or you can sit on the you know, yeah, you know. right? I mean, it's it's been pretty fun. Um, I hope I get to do more of these. It's yeah, just you, well, it's gonna take me a little while to get the hang of it, but I'm, I'm getting the rhythm of it. Yeah, man, yeah. well, yeah, I think you're pretty talented. Well, I'll okay. do. I, yeah, you know, I want to hear him on his uh, little. But anyways, uh, I have to get going. So you all have a fantastic day. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, why don't you take us out, Minotaur? All right. <laughs>
Even the kitty agrees. You need to subscribe to save the invisible hamster. But hey, folks, this is Ty Romulus Nyberg on the behalf of Eric and Minotaur signing off. Thank you. But hey, folks, this is Ty Romulus Nyberg on behalf of Eric and Minotaur signing off. Thank you.